New at six, it's the number one issue this election season, the economy. So how is it making you feel? High prices, higher wages? There's been some good news, but we're all hoping for better. So let's talk about the economy. What's the word that comes to mind? Scary. Why don't I write scary? The overall health economy is it's still growing. Uh, positively. Unemployment down, GDP up, even inflation down to 3.5 percent from an average high of eight in 2022. But economics are personal. We literally just refinanced the house. I was like, are you kidding me? This is not lower. I go, how do I actually ask myself, how do people afford this? Because everything's going up and we got a kid getting ready to go to college soon. On average, prices have risen about 19 percent. Grocery store prices have been fluctuating a lot. It's either low, like low, where people are happy, and immediately it just goes back high to where everyone's like, why, 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 why? So let's back up a bit. COVID. Coming out of the pandemic, demand for products increased. That caused supply chain issues, which made way for higher prices. Now that restrictions are over, people are spending and spending. Consumers have a very powerful weapon to combat inflation. It's called your wallet. If consumers were disciplined enough to sit down and separate their needs from their wants and what they buy. Cut those wants back five to 10%. By dropping that spending, that's gonna put a lot of pressure on retailers. We're going, wait a minute, there's a 5% drop. Uh, we don't wanna lose these guys, so they're gonna start dropping their prices. So what's driving that 3.5% inflation rate? It's auto insurance up 22%, rent 5.7% over the last year, restaurant meals up 42 but airfare down 7%, hotel rooms down 1.9, rental cars down 8.8%. I will say my rent did go up. Uh, it's going up by about from 1375 to uh, 1425. I think everything is, is bouncing back in a positive direction. I think a lot of the supply chain issues are being addressed and solved. Here's where retired TCC business administration professor Peter Shaw says we're going. Unemployment will tick up. Now when you break that magic 4% unemployment rate, all of a sudden consumers start pulling back on their spending, and that should put a lot of pressure on bringing the inflation rate down going into the second half of the year. And hit that target 2% inflation rate sometime next year. And Shaw explains that the economy will start slowing down towards the end of the year, and that will force the Fed to start cutting those interest rates in part to avoid a recession.